For visitors to the University of the House of Assembly, Honorable Adam Muga, the Dr. Anata, the Council, Heads of Board, our guests, Mr. Mills, Assistant Inspector General of Police, retired Dr. Aliu, J.I. Benkalio, retired, the Vice Chancellor of this University, Professor Yaku Chabagana Ahmad, Deputy Vice Chancellor of the Council, represent, representing the State Government, to my jury. Member of the Council representing the Minister of Justice, Al Haji Ahmed Mustafa Badiri. Representing Professor James Abdul Gadda, Dr. Muhammad Musa Lawan, representative of the Senate. Dr. Muhammad and Haji Abbas Madi Muhammad represented represented the congregation of the council. Our guest lecturer for this chairman of the Pamir Kumar Center for African Studies of the University of Lagos, Professor Abubakar Kundri, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Ukari, Chairman of Kumu, Director of Academic Planning of the National University of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Kano. Professor Adam Usman Isge, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Central Administration of the University of Edugree, represents Professor A. M. Bimba from the University of Edugree, Professor Ibrahim Lawan, ICT Hub, and Haji Lawan Ganaleti, our former Director, National Investment Promotions Commission. This congregation marks our achievement and our continuity to impact on our younger ones. We believe that we are putting as so phenomenally endowed the property of time and space. The Vice Chancellor of this university, someone of him, of your heart. The presence of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of the Old State, the visitor to the university, Al Haji Ibrahim Gaidam, FCNA, FCPA, FNCA, for grazing this historic occasion physically for the first convocation lecture of this university. Your Excellency, on behalf of the entire university community, I wish to convey our heartfelt sympathy over the recent episode in Dachi. We pray for safe and quick rescue of the adopted guests. May Allah the Almighty endow us a lasting peace to your state in particular and the North East and the nation in general. We stand in solidarity with you, Your Excellency, in this historic movement of our university's history. Indeed, your regime will be remembered in the Yoga State University for many decades to come as the golden age of the university. Your Excellency, Yoga State will continue to remember you as one of the great statesmen, champion of unity, Hope of downtrodden, pride of the nation, trust, trust of Yoga State and the university in particular. Indeed, your special passion and magnanimity in repositioning the university in all facets of development would ever remain fresh in our memory. Your Excellency, we are very grateful. Let me welcome you all to Yoga State University young but fast growing university to witness the first university's convocation lecture and the 11th celebration, 11th anniversary celebration of the university. May I at this juncture invite the Vice Chancellor, the Chief Executive of Yoga State University, Professor Yakubu Mutar, to deliver his welcome address, Mr. Vice Chancellor Sir. Making the beginning of a new dawn in its history. For this reason, I must give glory and honor to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for granting us the opportunity to grace this special occasion in the annals of Yoga State University, Yamatu. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to say that. 
the consciousness of the worth and dignity of the distinguished guests present in this hall makes me highly pleased. The university is sincerely grateful that you have all made it here. May Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite mercy reward you abundantly. At this juncture, may I, on behalf of your State University, welcome the Convocation Lecturer, Distinguished Professor Horace G.C. Campbell of the Institute of African Studies, University of Ghana, Legon, to our institution. You are welcome, sir. When the university resolved that the convocation lecture of our main convocation must be a scholar of international repute, one of the scholars that came to our minds was your humble self -talk. However, my role was the possibility of having you honor our invitation at a time like this, considering you are very tight schedules. We are grateful to you for not only giving us the assurance that you will come, but about that you are here in our midst to deliver our main convocation letter. In particular, I am pleased for your understanding in that we have to change the date of this event twice, but you still found it worthwhile to honor our invitation by continually readjusting your rather very tight schedules. Once again, welcome to your best state university, Damatru. The title of the Naval Convocation Lecture is African Reconstruction and Transformation, Changes for the Next Generation. This topic is truly very apt especially at this very critical moment in our history. For instance, in spite of more than 50 years of political independence, most of Africa is still grappling with a lot of challenges, earning the unpalatable appellation of the Third War among the Committee of Nations, even at the tail end of the second decade of the 21st century. Incidentally, this topic is being handled by the right scholar, and I am absolutely confident that the convocation lecturer will not only analyze the continent's challenges, but will also provide workable solutions. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of this occasion, uh, of this occasion is none other than Professor Kari Mohammed. He is like my humble self, a historian and alumnus of the University of Maiduguri. Professor Mohammed had his bachelor's degree at the University of Maiduguri in 1984 and master's degree and PhD at the prestigious University of Ibadan in 1988 and 1995, respectively. He began his academic career as a graduate assistant in 1985 and steadily progressed to the unenviable position of professor in 2007. He was at various times head of department, dean of faculty, and director of the Center for Peace and Security Studies. Professor Karim Mohammed is currently the Vice Chancellor of Maldivo Adama University of Technology, Yola, formerly Federal University of Technology, Yola, one of Nigeria's leading. The entire over 50 academic programs in Mount Tech have been accredited by the National Universities Commission without a single denied status. This is indeed an unavailable uh, position in Nigerian University system. A very prolific and versatile scholar, Professor Mohammed is today one of the leading scholars on Boko Haram insurgency. He has conducted field-based researches, published widely, and spoken at various fora, 
both in Nigeria and abroad. He is a fellow of the Historical Society of Nigeria and a fellow of the Society for Peace Studies and Practice and an associate fellow of the Chatham House, London. He has conducted, uh, consulted for various agencies such as the UNICEF, the European Union, World Bank, Institute for, uh, for French uh, Research in Africa, IFRA, etc., etc., on non-stage armed actors, peace building and post-conflict reconstruction, rehabilitation and reconciliation. It gives me a lot of pleasure to have you here for to carry out the task of chairing our many conversation lecture. I extend the warmest regards of your Western University community to you for honoring our invitation to be part of this epoch-making event. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on this note, I once again welcome you all to this maiden convocation lecture. Thank you. In the mid-1980s, when he came from the diaspora to give a lecture on Rastafarianism and Pan-Africanism at the University of Ibadan, I was then a graduate student. Only last year, he was also one of the key speakers at the Abakar Momo Memorial, which held in Abuja in memory of one of Nigeria's finest academics. So I know Professor Campbell fairly well to introduce him. He is a very great voice of Africa, a great son of Africa, a pan-Africanist, a liberation scholar, proletarian internationalist, prolific and versatile scholar. He is currently the Kwame Nkrumah Chair at the prestigious University of Ghana at Lebanon. Professor Campbell, as you will see from the citation before you, has held several positions in the academia. He is very well published. His recent book, which is very topical, is Global NATO and the Catastrophic Failure in Libya, which prophetically gave an insight into what is currently happening in Libya as a result of NATO's intervention you know, in that North African country. He has taught in several universities here in the continent, in North America, in Europe, and the rest of the world. Published nearly a hundred publications in various fields, including comparative politics, international relations, Pan-Africanism, African-American relations, American studies, militarism, and the transformation of the continent. The Yoga State University is indeed very lucky to have Professor Campbell to give his very inaugural pre-convocation lecture. I can assure you that it's going to be very hard for you to get another scholar who is likely to be Professor Campbell for your subsequent convocations. So your health is half far too high for yourselves. So it is my good fortune and honor to introduce and call upon Professor Horace Campbell to speak on the topic African Reconstruction and Transformation Challenges for the Next Generation. Professor Campbell. Governor, Fred Chancellor, distinguished officers of your state, distinguished officers of, and most importantly, is a day of great celebration. I want to especially congratulate all of you Bernard, who worked so hard with members of your family taking your degree. Because I am very cognizant and you must celebrate. But while celebrating, while celebrating, you must think of your brothers and sisters, your cousins, your uncles, 
and your relatives who are not able to go to university so that your completion of the degree is not for yourself only, it's also for your extended family. Of the more than half a million graduates from Nigerian universities, you're not part of the generation who must carry Nigeria and Africa forward. I come to you today as a Kwame Kuma Chair of the Institute of African Studies of the University of Ghana. The Kwame Kuma Chair was established to carry forward the work of Kwame Kuma. And what is that work? The work of Kwame Nkrumah was to promote the unification and freedom of Africa. And we believe that Kwame Nkrumah in the Institute of African Studies, in the Institute of African Studies, Kwame Nkrumah said, Africa must unite. We must unite for economic viability first of all, and then to recover our material wealth in Africa so that our vast resources and our capacity for development will bring prosperity for us and additional benefits for the rest of the world. That is why I've written elsewhere that the emancipation of Africa will be the emancipation of men. Clearly, the question of the emancipation of Africa, the emancipation of Nigeria, the emancipation of Ghana is not for Africa only, but for human beings. And as Kwame Nkrumah Chair, we want to speak about how Africa can do that job and why we must talk about reconstruction in Africa. You are part of a generation when there is a debate about the future of the University of Africa. Living in the catchment of the Lake Chad region, and I could see very clearly when I was coming here today from Kano, what the impact of your living in the Lake Chad Basin region means. You experience every day the negative effects of global warming. Yet, living in the central part of Africa, you live in the midst of one of the richest parts of Africa, rich in a lot of water. The Congo River Basin is rich in water, and yet the Chad Basin is poor in water. How do we bridge that gap? So our ch ch challenge today would be to talk about the transformation of Africa. Now, how do we transform Africa without uniting? So let us talk about the vision of Kwame Nkrumah. The vision is that we should have one government in Africa, one army, one currency, and one foreign policy. And this was articulated in 2013 by the African Union, talking about the shared strategic framework for inclusive growth and sustainable development and a global strategy to optimize the use of African resources. How do we come to this point that we could talk again about the United Africa? The four main events that has brought about this change in Africa, this change where we can talk about having a vision about the unification of Africa. The first was the military defeat of the apartheid government in South Africa at Kutkwanabal. How many in this room know about Kutkwanabal? See, we're not doing the work in the university. 30 years ago in March, the South African military was defeated at Kutukunabal. And that military defeat at Kutukunabal laid the basis for 
the release of Nelson Mandela and the independence of Namibia. And that was the framework for giving us the foundation for where we are in Africa today. Second, the process of removing military dictators in Africa. The third, the World Conference against Racism and the discussion about reparations. And the fourth is the birth of the African Union. For a short while, we believed that we could have built on these four things to be able to take Africa in a new direction. But in 2013, we saw that Africa will not be able to make its development without great challenges. And one of the challenges was the NATO intervention in Libya in 2011. Speech of cattle, you probably heard of it called the quarry cattle. He said the way that is drying up. And so there are plans for the transfer of water from the Congo River through the Chari River, taking water from inside the Congo through the Nishnik Chad. This reconstruction of Africa, structure for Africa, in other words, Lake Chad drying up, but Libya, Sudan, and this entire region. And so we have the infrastructure of the African Union, infrastructure of peace, water. Below the ground are oceans of Africa. Last year, International Office of the Aquifers in Africa, they showed their most of their great capacity for Africa if we use the groundwater in Africa. So to restore the lake level, to facilitate navigation and the general Yes. We're proposing seven Okay. Africa is no longer oriented. Uh, my Excellency, uh, I mean, uh, I'm my honor and privilege to present you on behalf of the Southern Council of this great university, the Sadista to the university. I present you this, this part. It's my pleasure. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Not only to me personally, but the Institute of African Studies and the University of Ghana. Thank you very much. Well, it is my privilege and honor to present you this part. It's a visitor to the University of Ghana for the Government Council of this great university. And we are presenting them to the public for the first time. Then our new faculty of law, which is yet to find through the process of aggregation, has also started a new journal, Law Based Law Review. So it is our pleasure, sir, to have you to present this journal to the public. Uh, once again, it's a visitor to this great university. It is my privilege and honor to present to you the three journals that's been made over to me by the Vice Chancellor Professor Abu The first one is Law Review, the USA University Law Review.
taking place in this university. I'll be the same university, but I'll compete any other university. Last year, before this time, I was appointed uh, provost of the College of Medical Sciences by His Excellency, and I was shown a piece of land for the proposed College of Medicine. Uh, from there, we started the drawing, and now the pay has been completed because of his full support. Uh, I think this is a very great, this is a very great stride in education because. The president of UPC University has changed the world group on behalf of Nigeria. Similarly, the college of medicine has also improved on the university itself in terms of status. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The chairman of the education, Prof. Mm -hmm. Gary Mohammed, the vice president of the University of College, uh, I would thank you for having time to inspire your position as a vice chancellor. Prof. Gary, who have known very well, and on the graduate days in the University of Peruvi, I was studying the University of Ivan and he was in the Venkabu, I was in the University of Ivan and he was doing very well. We have been paid a couple of visits, I will go on to the Venkabu Hall, and uh, we have seen how he has grown along the ranks because of his next one. So we thank you for having me.